Hey, it's Andrew Huang. It's another one of those videos where I'm gonna make some significant progress on some of my music using the pressure of thousands of people's expectations of me. So I went on Twitter and posted a screenshot of one of my not that well organized song folders and asked what you thought I should work on today. There were a lot of responses, so I didn't do an official tally, but it seemed pretty clear that this folder called Rat was getting a lot of people excited. I went in there and out of the five tracks in there, Boss Music was the title that uh, seemed to drum up the most excitement. So so we're looking at that now. This is a track that I started in November of 2010. I like that a lot. Uh, I only vaguely remember creating this, and I think what I recall is that I was working on this beat, just experimenting with this interesting sounding percussion, and was just messing around. I didn't have any plan in mind, but then when I added this bass line in, it kind of sealed the deal as some kind of video gamey boss music. Very clearly inspired by like a Super Mario underground theme chromatic type bass line. 100 points if you can tell me what key this song is in. So here's the thing though, uh, for the purposes of this video, I think this song is done. I mean, what am I gonna add to this? It's already perfect for a little Nintendo boss battle. Uh, psh. I deem this song finished. Let's check out the runner up, uh, which on Twitter looked like it was Rut Rat. This is a project from 2009, July 2009. Let's open this up. Ooh, okay. Sparse, very basic. <laughs> What is this? What was I trying to do? Clearly everything is demo, like the guitar, it doesn't sound like it has any effects on it. Oh, okay, a compressor and an EQ. And then uh, this is like a default 606 kit in Ableton. So, whew, we could go a lot of places with this. It's a pretty melody. Uh, I think that's the only good thing about it. I'm gonna have to replay that. I also need to change that beat. It's so basic, it's so bad. What if we do Nagoya harp? Love that harp, so much fun. Uh, as you heard, I also completely redid the drums. I'm really liking them now. They're sounding big and fat. Let me show you what I've got going on here. I made them with the Reason Rack plugin and Reason are today's sponsor. So thank you so much to them for supporting my channel. We're also doing a huge giveaway right now. More info on that later. So I used this Kong drum designer. And played that beat in and then I ran it through a pulverizer to give it some nice dirt. Compressed it, because you always gotta compress everything. And then I put all that through this Audiomatic Retro Transformer uh, with this bottom setting. It kind of like, I don't know, just makes it a little bit boomier. Gives it some nice old school glue. I think this sounds super dope. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Reason, the digital audio workstation. Uh, I've mentioned before on my channel that it's one of the earlier DAWs that I got into. Uh, with the release of Reason 11 though, they've made the Reason Rack available as a plugin that you can load up in any DAW. So now all of the classic Reason instruments and effects and sounds are available for anybody to use. It's like getting a huge pile of plugins in one plugin. You can also still flip the rack around and do some creative routing if you're into that kind 
kind of thing. So it's pretty cool. I've been having a lot of fun going back to some of these synths that I learned on, like Subtractor and Maelstrom. And then there's also a whole bunch of great new stuff that I'm getting familiar with, like that uh, Audiomatic Retro Transformer. I actually put that on the harp as well. The harp by itself, it's a nice sound, but it's, it's pretty plain. So I put the uh, effect version of the Reason Rack plugin on and I ran this harp through the echo. It gives it the tiniest bit of warble and just some kind of old timey feels. The RV7000 reverb. And then again, that Audiomatic Retro Transformer, uh, this time on the vinyl setting. Now this track is far from complete. I think we need to add some kind of supporting chord element next. It's really missing that. So let's add another Reason Rack plugin and uh, just browse for something. Instruments, yeah. Maybe I'll just load up the sampler, get a piano going. <laughs> Okay, I like the tone of that one better. I want some delay on it. We could go with the echo again. I just really love it, you know. Rolling space echo emulations. Can't go too far wrong. Ping pong it? And let's add a compressor. All right, I came up with two piano ideas. There's this one that I played. And then there's this one that I couldn't play, I had to draw. My brain is feeling kind of dead. I'm gonna take a break. Ever take a break from making music by making other music? That's what I do. Half kidding, I did also go get some food, but uh, before diving back into that other track, I just wanted to mess around with some of the rack extensions, especially the noise engineering ones. Noise engineering make a whole bunch of great modules. They made them into Reason rack extensions, and now all of those are available for me as a plugin. Dream come true. So in this little beat, that awesome bass sound was from the mighty Basimilis Ateritus, which I have the module right right here. But now we have so many of their modules in plug-in form, I approve. All right, so listening back to Rut Rat now with uh, somewhat fresh ears, I've had a realization. Do you remember the awesome beat? It actually sounds better if I completely remove that. I still love that beat though. I feel like I want to turn that into another song. So my problem now is that instead of having a lot of progress done on one song, I have like a little bit of progress on two songs. So I gotta make a call right now about what I'm actually going to work on. <laughs> So I was just messing around with Subtractor and came up with this sound. And then I resampled that so I could do some Ableton audio warping with it, uh, you know, time stretching, pitch shifting, and I uh, created all these sounds out of that sound.
Then I added in a couple more sounds. We've got stuff like this. <laughs> And this, those are from Splice. I took a woo from my old foods and dudes sample pack. Sublab through the Melda Wave Shaper for the sub. I also found this one preset using Thor, uh, one of the reason rack synths, and uh, it's unbelievable. It sounds exactly like a scream, but it's not a sample, it's a synth. Wild, wow. All right, it's been a long day. I'm gonna call it there. Got a lot done, had a lot of fun. Enter the giveaway. More details in the video description. Thanks again to Reason for sponsoring. Check out Reason Rack if you're interested in getting a whole bunch of amazing sounds and effects for a very good price in your DAW, whether it's Reason or not. Boom. Thanks so much for watching. Love you lots. See you in the next video real soon.